After a traumatic birth, Mr. Walker decided to adopt a dog for his paralyzed son in an attempt to make things better. What happened a few months after the dog came into their lives left everyone in shock. On a hot afternoon in a quiet neighborhood in Montana, Jason Walker had a storm brewing inside him. He had a lot in his mind and was on his way to get what he hoped would be a solution to some of his worries. Today was his son's first birthday, and he was going to get him a memorable gift. Before little Tommy had been born, Jason and his wife had already spent months discussing what they would give him as soon as he turned one. They had even thought about the huge party they would have in his honor, and yet things now couldn't be more different from what they had imagined. The past few months had been tough for Mr. Walker, and the idea of throwing his son an animal-themed party had become impractical. So he had turned his attention to something he believed could make things better, a dog. Countless people had told him that a pet would do wonders for his son, even more than any doctor he could involve in his treatment plan. And since he loved his little boy more than life itself, he had welcomed the umpteenth advice like a man on a mission. Walking into the animal shelter, he found himself surrounded by cute dogs, each vying for his attention. Among them, an English toy terrier caught his eye with its curious gaze. Mr. Walker had done some reading about different dog breeds, and he felt this little terrier could be the perfect gift for Tommy. It was small enough not to overpower him while they played, but still loyal and protective. And that's exactly the kind of dog his son needed. When his poor baby had entered the world, the delivery room had plunged into an icy silence. Tommy was crying, and Jason had rejoiced at the sound of his healthy lungs working perfectly. The birth had been traumatic for both him and the mother, and for a long while he had feared the worst. But now he was here, and he was alive. But then the doctors had whisked the newborn away to a different room, not even allowing him or his wife to hold him first. He still remembered the looks on the nurses' faces and how the weight shook him to the core. He had never felt such fear in his life as he paced in the waiting room. He could vividly remember the image of his son lying in the hospital bed as the doctor told him that he was born with a damaged spine. He had been squeezed too hard inside the birth canal, and his delicate vertebrae had suffered severe consequences. Little Tommy was paralyzed from the waist down and might never walk. The chances of him regaining mobility in his legs were low, but not inexistent. Jason clung to that news with all of his faith. When the doctor suggested countless sessions of physical therapy, he immediately agreed to them. He would have agreed to anything he proposed as long as he told him there was hope for his son. He wanted to be positive. He needed to be positive. Unfortunately, his wife hadn't shared his perspective. She was devastated to know that their little boy was paralyzed and blamed herself for his condition despite the doctor assuring her that she had done nothing wrong. In the last few months, the sorrow had mixed with postpartum depression, turning her into a shell of her old self. She could barely stand to hug little Tommy and didn't want to participate anymore in his PT sessions. Jason worked late to keep up with the medical expenses and she was often home alone with the baby for hours on end. He knew Tommy wasn't getting enough stimulation. When Jason had suggested that they get a dog, she had simply shrugged. Secretly, he hoped the dog would help her as well. Since the wild birthday party they had planned before the birth was now out of the picture, he had decided it was the perfect time to adopt a furry companion, hoping that the unconditional love of a dog could somehow make Tommy's life happier. When his eyes met the gaze of the English toy terrier, Jason felt a connection he couldn't explain. He had read about the loyalty and affection of this breed, and it seemed like the ideal fit for his son. According to some experts, the physical stimulation provided by a playful dog could strengthen a paralyzed person's muscles and resolve, pushing them beyond their limits. Jason didn't think that a dog could help his son learn to crawl or even walk, but he knew it would turn his boring days into amazing adventures. After he found the English Terrier, he began the adoption process. The process involved paperwork, signatures, and a fee. With a mix of excitement and hope, Jason committed to providing a loving home for the little terrier. Taking the newly adopted dog home felt like the beginning of a new chapter. As Jason drove, his mind buzzed with apprehension. How would Tommy react to this surprise? Would he be scared of the dog? Would the dog be scared of him? He would find out soon enough. Before heading home, Jason stopped by a local bakery to pick up a cake. It was his son's birthday after all and he knew his wife hadn't baked anything. Alongside the cake, he chose a cute bow for the dog, a small touch to make the moment even more special. Returning home with the surprise cake and the cute dog, 
Jason felt nervous but hopeful. He knew these next steps were important to make things better at home. When he opened the front door and let the terrier in, his wife stared at him with a frown. Seriously? She asked. Now I have to take care of a child and a dog while you spend all your days in your office? Jason felt hurt, but didn't let his smile turn into a grimace. He knew that his wife was suffering just as much as him, and that she would have to attend several more therapy sessions before she could consider herself on the path of recovery. He calmly explained to her that he had already spoken with their housekeeper and that she would take care of the dog's needs in the morning, leaving him to deal with the evening walk. The terrier would provide enough of a distraction for little Tommy that she could have more time for herself, he said. She let out a bitter chuckle. Do you want me to leave our son alone with a dog he doesn't know? She asked. Of course not, Jason replied. I just want you to watch over them when they play. He can't play. He can't even crawl. His tone suggested that their discussion was over. She shrugged and took the cake from him while he went to Tommy's room. As usual, the baby was in his crib, clutching a plushie to his chest. He was babbling nonsense, but no one was there with him to engage in playful nonsensical conversation. Jason's heart broke for his child. He rarely left his room and had never even met another kid, but little Tommy was about to make a lifelong friend. Jason picked up his son and made a fuss of him and walked towards the sitting room. The dog, still wearing its cute bow, gave a little bark when he entered the room. Tommy's eyes lit up with joy at the sight of the furry friend and his tiny hands reached for the terrier. Jason put him down and sat behind him, whistling to catch the pup's attention. The dog approached cautiously, its tail wagging with excitement. The boy reached out and touched its head, squealing in delight. For a moment the room felt lighter and even Jason's wife smiled. Days passed and the dog became a regular part of their home. Jason made sure to feed the dog every morning before work. The housekeeper also took care of the dog, making sure it had food and water. However, Jason's wife mostly ignored it. The dog was playful and he immediately noticed a huge change in his son's personality. The once quiet boy was now laughing all the time, begging to be put on the floor to be next to his furry friend. He was always smiling when Jason came back from work and his babbling was slowly improving. A few weeks later, even Jason's wife had to admit that adopting the dog had been a great idea. Tommy only wanted to play with it, and since the dog never shied away from him, she had more free time to relax and take care of herself. She was now able to attend therapy three times a week, and her mood was improving by the day. She was even becoming more affectionate towards her son, and by the time two months had passed, she even offered to take both Tommy and the dog on a walk around the block. She was the one to suggest Rocky as a name for the pup. Things were looking great in the Walker household, and it was all thanks to the tiny terrier. In the following months, Jason noticed a positive transformation in his son. The baby that could once barely lift his arms to be picked up could now sit all on his own, and he had learned to bounce on his bum to move after the dog. Rocky seemed to understand that his tiny friend couldn't run with him, and patiently waited for him to slide over the floor in pursuit of toys, balls, and whatever else they liked to wrestle with. Moreover, Tommy's PT sessions were finally giving the results he had been hoping for all along. According to the doctor, the muscles in his core were almost as strong as those of any other child his age, and his legs were strengthening as well. He couldn't crawl yet, but Jason was hopeful. The transformation involved his wife as well. She finally came out of her shell and started playing more with both her son and the dog. Jason often found her on the floor with him when he came back from work, and her happy smile made his heart melt. Rocky, with his wagging tail and loyal eyes, had become more than a pet. He was his family's second chance at happiness. Observing the positive impact the tiny dog had on both his son and his wife, Jason couldn't help but feel grateful for the furry friend who had become an unexpected source of healing. As the days turned into months, Tommy kept progressing. His doctor was overjoyed to share with the family that he was starting to flex his knees. When they left the hospital, both Jason and his wife cried tears of happiness. Their boy had been born with little hope, but since Rocky had entered his life, he had started defying all the odds. According to the doctor, his desire to play with the dog and run after him was pushing him to move his muscles, and his spine was strengthening in turn. He still didn't believe that he would walk, but he told the family that perhaps one day he could learn to crawl, and that day came sooner than later. Tommy was 18 months old when Jason received a video call that made his heart somersault in his chest. 
His wife never called him when he was at work, so he picked up the phone with trembling hands, fearing the worst. He only heard her scream intelligible words, but thankfully the scene she was recording spoke for itself. Little Tommy was crawling after Rocky. The dog held a ball in his mouth and was jumping off the floor as if he wanted to challenge his tiny human to steal it from him. Tommy's legs were still bent at an awkward angle, but he was crawling nonetheless, and most importantly, he was laughing his little heart out. That evening, Jason bought another cake and the family had another party. This time, the atmosphere was very different from the day he had come home with Rocky in tow. Tommy was rolling on the floor after the dog, his wife was smiling, and he thought life couldn't be better, but he was wrong. One calm Saturday morning, Tommy and Rocky were playing in the living room. While Jason enjoyed the quiet on the porch with a good book, Tommy's range of movements had improved further, and it brought relief to everyone. He could now crawl with ease, and one time, Jason's wife had even seen him throw a little kick to a ball. Jason still found himself smiling when he thought back at the birthday party they had thrown for his second trip around the sun. They had dressed little Tommy as a dog, and he and Rocky had twinned all day long. By this time, both he and his wife felt confident leaving their son alone in a room with the dog. Tommy was still a pretty slow crawler and Rocky's protective instincts were always on high alert. However, Jason was about to find out that his dog had developed a whole new set of instincts. In this peaceful atmosphere where the only sounds were the gentle rustling of leaves and the occasional chirping of birds, Rocky suddenly started barking relentlessly from the living room. Curious about the dog's sudden change in behavior, Jason looked up from his book and called for him. The dog couldn't contain its barking. Something was off, but the man couldn't quite figure out what had triggered Rocky's unusual behavior. His wife was taking a quick shower, and he could hear little Tommy speaking to himself in the living room. Everything seemed normal. Thinking that perhaps Rocky wanted to play, Jason decided to engage the energetic dog. He fetched a ball and tossed it toward the living room for the canine to chase after and catch. However, much to his surprise, the dog paid no attention to the ball. Instead, Rocky continued to bark uncontrollably. Initially amused by the dog's antics, Jason began to sense that there might be more to the situation than a playful mood. The persistent barking indicated a heightened level of alertness, as if it were trying to communicate something important. Now intrigued and a bit concerned, he decided to follow Rocky to see what had captured the dog's attention. The dog led him to the living room, where Tommy was playing with some toy soldiers. Standing on his own two feet, Jason felt his knees wobble and had to steady himself against the wall to avoid fainting. It should have been impossible, but his eyes were not deceiving him. His paralyzed son, the child all the doctors believed incapable of ever walking, was standing straight on his legs. Tears started streaming on his cheeks and he couldn't contain the loud sob that escaped his mouth. Little Tommy noticed his father standing in the doorway and frowned at the sight of his tears. Aren't you sad, Daddy? He asked, putting his toys down to face him. No, Tommy, Jason replied, trying and failing to dry his eyes. Daddy has never been happier. The child chuckled and went back to his game. Jason willed his legs to work again and sprinted towards the bathroom, where he almost kicked the door down knocking. His wife emerged clad in her bathrobe, and he didn't even give her the time to put on some clothes, as he dragged her to the living room, where Tommy was still standing and playing. Unlike Jason, his wife couldn't keep her legs from giving out. She slid to the floor, bursting into tears, and Tommy found himself facing another crying parent in the span of a few minutes. Mama, you too? He squealed. He turned to face her, his tiny feet shuffling on the floor without losing either strength or balance. Jason's wife gave another sob. Can you come to me, baby? She managed to say through the tears. Tommy looked down at his wobbly legs and frowned. He didn't know if he could cover the small distance that separated him from his mom. But that's when his best friend came to his aid. Rocky ran towards and settled next to him, letting Tommy put a hand on his back. Steadying himself on the dog, the two-year-old child wobbled towards his mother. Jason cheered for him, pushing him to find his balance. Tommy almost fell twice, but Rocky was with him every step of the way, walking slowly to match his insecure pace. And when Tommy lunged towards his mother's open arms, even Rocky let out a victorious yelp. The tiny terrier that Jason had adopted a year ago had just taught his son how to walk. Moved by the realization, he picked up the dog and hugged the furry hero. 
The incident forged a newfound appreciation for Rocky within the family. Jason couldn't shake off the shock of what Rocky had done for all of them. In a surprising twist of events, the little dog had helped Tommy defy the odds, brought a smile back on his wife's face, and helped him get his family back. Rocky might be just a small dog, but he had performed an enormous feat and Jason would always be grateful for him. Have you ever heard about a pet who helped its owners face some health challenges? Would you have trusted the process like Jason did? Share your thoughts and comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in our next story.